Hello and welcome to Light Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the UCO Sprout Lantern. I got this off Amazon for a total of $14.99. There is a Sprout Plus now. Yeah, I bought this probably about a couple weeks ago, and all of a sudden the Sprout Plus showed up. Now the Plus model is the exact same lantern, but with a rechargeable battery as an option that fits into the battery bay. You can take it out and put standard batteries in that one, which is nice. I'll have links below to this lantern, which is uh, $14.99 like I mentioned, and the Plus, which I think right now is $23.99 to give you an idea. So that difference in price is the price of the rechargeable battery they include. So let's look at the Sprout LED Lantern by UCO. I like the company. They have cool products, a lot of survival stuff, you know, kits you can buy. Uh, but the lanterns kind of intrigued me. I've always liked the little keychain lights they've made. And I thought this one would be a fun review. Let's look at the packaging. Now this lantern is usually upside down. And they have a little tether here to show you the Magna Loop hanging system, which I'll show you, which is pretty neat. Um, but I put it back in the package this way. But uh, yeah, I'll show you all that. 100 lumens, claim to fame. It's kind of nice for three AAA batteries, which it runs on. Uh, as you can see, it sits in there nicely. On the back here, we got uh, UCO established in 1971. Patented hanging system, dimmable, which I did not know at first. <laughs> Interesting. And a blue LED mode. IPX4 water resistant, nice. Uh, some weights we'll talk about, dimensions. Your high is 100 lumens, six hours, they're saying. I'm sure that's down to like 1%. Um, as far as battery life, a uh, low 10 lumens, 50 hours. I thought the low was the blue, but it's not. It's the lower uh, dim mode, which we'll talk about. And then three AA, uh, three, sorry, three AAA batteries not included. Limited one year warranty. Nice, liking that. Got our UPC code there in case you need it. Um, there you are. And it has designed in Seattle, but made in China. There you are. But hey, it's a U.S. company, so that's a good thing, right? Right. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it out of here. What I did is I cut it at the bottom and put a little piece of tape here to hold it for display purposes. And we get to our little lantern. All right, and we'll go over dimensions of this little guy. Looks like a little puck. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and do dimensions of this little guy. Um, so the diameter at its widest point is two and three quarter inches measured at the bottom. The base is the widest point of this light and its height is two inches. Now, if you notice, this lantern has a little bit of a slope to it. Don't know why they did that. I don't know if it gets a little directional to the, to the floodlight. I don't think so, but uh, there's a slight angle to it. So I took the um, height over here, two inches uh, versus here. So that's the highest point. Nice. Uh, the weight of this lantern is pretty cool. So you can pocket this real easily in a backpack. Uh, it's two and three quarter ounces without the batteries. Three AAA batteries, I gotta imagine, is like under an ounce, to give you an idea. Uh, it's 64 grams, uh, also without the batteries. Give you an idea, nice, liking that. Uh, so let's talk about features of this lantern. So um, actually, you know what, before I do that, let's do size comparison, I like size comparisons. So here is the UCO, and here is one I reviewed a while back. This is the Thor Fire. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I got excited about the name. It was orange. I was all into it. Now they got yellow, which is really cool. Um, so here's some differences. Uh, they're the same price. That's why I brought it out. This one's rechargeable, but its battery life isn't as long as the three AAA batteries provide. So I just want to put it out there for you. And it's a little clunkier. It's a little bigger. Okay, as you can see there, and it's got a different hanging system. I like this hanging system much better than this one. This one just has like a little flip up plastic thing here. It doesn't seem very like it's going to last. The nice thing about this though, it does have a dynamo that charges. So you can flip this up and charge this Thor fire, um, which the little guy does not, but just pack extra batteries and you'll be fine. And this is one of those, uh, has a beam here. Let me show you. Two stage, no dimming. And then you can open this up. Let me see if I can pop it open here. Yeah. See, it's got an accordion type thing, and that's your that's your shroud. You get the idea. So there's that. So let's get my color back in the thing. Iron Man. <laughs> he makes everything normal again. <laughs> hey, I rhymed. Um, so yeah, there you get the idea with the Thor fire. That's what that's how big it gets extended. So you can see the the sprouts are pretty cool setup. Um, do like that. Uh, so yeah, deck of cards to give you an idea here. 
How awesome. And we'll get to the features of the UCO Sprout. Love the name. It's pretty cool. Uh, and pretty well made, too. I'm pretty surprised by that. So features of the Sprout Lantern. Uh, yeah, definitely very cool. Um, so uh, we got the writing on here, UCO established. Pretty excited about that. Uh, we have a polycarbonate enclosure, a base, and the diffuser. A uh, nice opaque diffuser. I like that. It's a really nice light here. And we go ahead and turn it on. Um, which there's no batteries in it yet, so we can't turn it on. <laughs> um, our power switch, uh, when we work it, uh, it uh, will turn it on our two modes. And the one mode, the white LED mode, you can dim it, which I'll show you. And, of course, the second one is blue. And then it's off. It always starts in low white mode, so just so you know. There's no memory mode, so it's very simple um, setup. And I'll show you that. Here on the bottom is our patented hanging system, which I think is great. This thing is super strong. Look at that. I'm pulling pretty hard. But it's actually a really strong rare earth magnet. There you go on the bottom and then on the hanger. And bam, it just, it's strong. So you can hang this in your tent. It's not going to fall on you <laughs> in the middle of the night. Uh, it's a really cool setup. If you look here, they notched it so the cord can run out the bottom. So if you decide to set this on the table, there you go. The cord is not in the way of the lantern. Put it on there and it might rock on that. So yeah, that's kind of cool. They thought to notch that for this if you're laying it down. I like that setup. Most of the time, you just this would be on your tent all the time, and you'd have this on the go with you, and you can set that down, like in that. So yeah, there's your magnet there, and it has some writing. And yeah, let's see what it say here: Illuminators of the Pacific Northwest. Nice UCO gear, and it says patented, and it has a little .com site there. Now the battery bay will open it up. This turns once and pulls out. Now, it only goes in one way. So the way to remember is that notch in the back goes to the back of the lantern. And here we got some instructions. I guess we'll look at those real quick. I'll put some batteries in it and light it up. Sprout Hangout Lantern. Sweet. <laughs> Requires three AAA batteries, which we know about. That's, it's funny. It shows how to open it up, but these instructions were actually inside of it. So <laughs> that is pretty funny, right, guys? <laughs> I love it. Use your lantern. There you go. In case I forget something, some languages. <clears throat> Let's see, we got uh, hang my plug, connect lantern for dimmable light. Nice, so it's very simple showing you how that works. And the back is all white, so to set that aside. Let's get some batteries in this thing. So if you look down in here, take three AAA batteries. It's showing really, really nice to see that uh, diagram of which way the batteries go in. And the neat thing about the plus is that it retains the three AAA tri battery bay and it uses a little lithium pack that fits inside of this area and has a little micro USB port. So if you like the idea of having a rechargeable pack, uh, you plug it in with the micro USB and off you go. And if you run out of juice on that one, you can pull it out and put standard batteries in. Again, it was $23.99, I believe. So you're looking at spending like eight or nine bucks more for that option. And again, I'll have links in the comment section and all that for you guys. Just a fun little lantern. I think you'll enjoy it. I picked this out because I like the idea of using AAA batteries in my lantern and in my small radios. It's uh, a nice setup. So let's go ahead and get some batteries here. We got some energizers. And uh, yeah, alkalines, they don't say what type to use. I would think a rechargeable will be fine in here because I think it uses a uh, controller uh, because when you're in a lower mode on the dim, it does have a slight flicker. You'll see it on the camera. It's not, not as noticeable with naked eye, but the camera definitely picks it up. So it does modulate the... Uh, Voltage so you can uh, have longer run times. So let's go ahead and there we go. Batteries are installed. Or like I told you, it's got two size hooks here, and you uh, line that uh, back notch there to the back of the lantern. So that's how we're gonna do it. So line it up there. Let's get this in there. Uh, this is IPX4 water rated, so this is resistant um, to rain, which is nice. Uh, you can have in the rainfall and not worry about it. Um, just don't dunk it. Don't submerse it in any puddles. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Um, it's pretty smart. And uh, yeah, so we got the, all that going. So let's go ahead and show you how the switch works. So two, okay, so first press takes you to white mode. As you can see, my camera might be picking it up. Yeah, there you go. You see it's flickering a little bit. Um, in person, though, when I'm looking at it uh, without through the lens, uh, it looks like nothing's flickering. So that's nice. Um, you can press and hold this. And it will dim up and go back down, I think, or up higher. Okay, there we go. Let's see if it goes back down. There we are. So uh, bottom is 10 lumens, and the top setting is 100 lumens. 
Okay, and we'll talk about run times when we go to the garage picks. So we turn it off. Um, we turn it back on. It'll be low again. Always starts in low. And you got the dim feature. But if you want blue, there you go. Tap it again fairly quickly. If you forget, like if you tap it once and you're sitting there and you're using it for a while, um, you don't have to wait uh, to go to blue and then back to off. It should just go off. There you are. That's really nice. So let's go to the garage and take some uh, take a look at how this performs uh, and how it lights the garage up. So here we are in the garage. The lantern is hanging from the center of the garage and my garage door opener. And it's set on high. This is 100 lumens. And they're advertising it at 6 hours uh, with 3 AAA batteries. Now the Sprout Plus rechargeable, I believe, is 4 hours with that battery pack. So it's a little less. Next, we're on low. This is 10 lumens. This will run about 50 hours. Definitely a big change in light. Uh, there you go. And uh, with the other, with the lithium battery pack and not the triple A's, you can expect it to run about the same amount of time, which is good. And this last one, the blue LED mode. Uh, there's no info printed anywhere uh, in the documentation or on their website. I would rate this probably around eight, or sorry, five to 10 lumens and maybe a runtime of around 10 hours. That's just an estimation. Okay, let's go back to the table. Let's do a quick little demo uh, in the dark, and then we'll do final thoughts. So we're gonna go ahead and just turn it on low, kick it over to the side, bring in something to look at, turn off some lights, and show you the dimming in action in the dark. So there we are. Oh yeah, you can definitely see a flickering. That's the modulation of the light. So let's go ahead and brighten it. We'll go all the way to 100. We're going to pick this up. I'm going to aim it down at the table like if it was hanging. So this is about uh, two feet up. This is about four feet up off the table on the highest setting. We'll go all the way to low, 10 lumens. Dun, 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 all the way down. There's 10 lumens, and I'm still four feet off the table. There's two feet off the table, to give you an idea. So two feet, you could read a book. Um, it's kind of nice at the low setting. So let's bring it back up. To 100 lumens. This is nice if you're setting up something inside the tent or in the room if you have no power. And then, of course, uh, we'll go to blue. So let me cycle. And there's our blue mode. This is neat. They call it like mood lighting, get in the mood with the blue light. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if you guys like blue. Uh, I don't see a reason to use blue. I'd rather have red, but uh, maybe they'll have a version where they'll have red because that, that makes more sense. So, all right, let's go ahead and Go back to low there. Let's bring in the Thor fire just to see if there's a color difference. I do like the warm light this provides. It's definitely like a neutral white. And this is a more of a, you can see the difference there. This has a cool, we'll go to its bright setting and we'll go to this bright setting on this one. So definitely a warmer light there. I do like that. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do some final thoughts. So click that one off. Go back to low. There we are. All right, turn this back on. My lights. So the UCO Sprout for fifteen dollars. Well, there's a lot of competition in this space. A lot. Um, you really got to like the hanging system. I think this is great. I really like how it's removable. I like how you can tie this to anything. I was actually using this to hook it to my garage door opener. Just up playing aluminum carabiner. It's all you need. Lightweight. This thing isn't very heavy at all. You could be hanging this from wherever you want. I really, really like that. Uh, they have a few other models too. They have a, uh, a rechargeable model, um, a bigger one that has like a 4,400 milliamp hour bank in it, and it charges phones, of course, and of course powers a lantern. I'm thinking about picking that one up uh, instead of a Sprout Plus because it has a lot of capacity. The Sprout Plus really doesn't have a lot of capacity, so I, I'm not really going to probably get the, the Plus. But it's an option for you guys if you want to have a little rechargeable battery and have dual options. Some people like having both options. It's actually nice to have two options. Um, and then rechargeable, of course, saves you money. You could also put in uh, rechargeable AAA batteries in this and it should run fine. I don't see any issue with that whatsoever. And I probably don't see an issue with you running those Energizer lithium batteries. Well, that should be fine too. I saw no warnings and the way this is designed, I don't think you have to worry. So there you are, the UCO Sprout Hangout Lantern. <laughs> I do like that uh, name. It's pretty cool. Now they have it in this color with the opaque and the black. And then they have one with the blue and I think like a wood grain looking button. 
So if you like that, that's there as an option for you. So if you don't like black, you can get different colors, which is neat. I'm glad they do the color thing. <laughs> so there it is. It does get a recommended buy for what it is. Uh, definitely compact, well-made, uh, strong, uh, something that uh, has a great light source. It's very, just a very nice, um, very smooth light, a very warm light. I'm liking that. So it definitely gets a recommended buy in this crowded market. There's so many different things. And it's from a company I recognize. It's not from some off-brand like this thing. <laughs> I don't expect that accordion plastic to last very long. It's already denting there. So, but yeah, uh, this will definitely last probably longer than that one. <laughs> All right. So if you enjoyed this video, a big like, you guys are the best. Two, if you like UCO products, I'm actually going to focus on UCO flashlights and uh, lanterns. Uh, definitely subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future videos. And three, comment below what you think about the UCO Sprout Lantern. This is something you would want in your collection. Um, I actually like it. Do you think it'd be a good prepping item? Let me know down below. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.